Welcome to Design Lab. My name is Casey, and in this video, I will show you how to access Sway and start building your exhibition. Then, I'll work on an example Sway so that you can see how the design principles you learned about in the first video can be put to use. In the first video, we learned about using cat and crap to create effective designs. Let's do a quick recap. CAT reminds us to keep conceptual, aesthetic, and technical considerations in mind as we develop a design project. Think about your audience and what you're trying to achieve. When you have a clear idea of your goals, you can use the CRAP toolbox to develop a coherent and compelling aesthetic for your work. Design also requires attention to technical issues like choosing the right tool, using it well, and ensuring accessibility of your design. Let's see how these principles play out in Sway. As students, you can access the online application through your Office 365 WISC account. To get started, click on New Blank Sway. There are three primary sections of the Sway workspace, Storyline, Design, and Play. Storyline is where you add media to your Sway. Type directly into text boxes. Drag and drop images into media fields. Click the green plus sign to start a new section. Design is where you set the style of your Sway, including layout, palette, font choices, and animation. Within layout, you have three options, vertical, horizontal, and slides. This way is currently an example of horizontal, but I'll be switching between them at various times. In styles and palettes, we recommend a few quick tips to get started. Choose a palette style that uses black body text in contrast to chosen accent color for greatest legibility. We also recommend customizing your palette, as the curated options are auto-generated and may not fit with your imagery. You can type in a hex code, or if you upload a photo, it will suggest colors. Next, choose your font. Avoid overly decorative fonts for improved legibility. We also recommend keeping your text size set to the normal option. Turn animation emphasis to subtle. You'll see why this is later in the demonstration. Click play in the upper right corner to preview progress on your Sway. Now that we've gone through the three main sections of Sway, let's go into a little bit more detail, beginning with your card options. Every individual element added to a Sway is called a card and there are four types of cards. Title, text, media, and group. The title card appears at the top of your presentation and is the largest card. You can also add a background image or logo to the title banner. Next is text. You can add three kinds of text to a sway. Heading one, which are primary headings. Heading two, which are secondary headings. And text, which is body text. All text cards may be edited in the following ways. Emphasize, which is akin to bold. Accent, which is their way of saying italicize. Bullet point lists and number list. You can adjust the size and style of the text card by editing emphasis. Subtle gives you a smaller option. Moderate gives you a more medium width. There are four types of media that you can add to a sway image, video, audio, and a link. Upload from your device, OneDrive, or online. Within Sway, you can filter your online search to Creative Commons only, but you are responsible for verifying permissions and copyright. Always cite your sources. You can also record your own audio within Sway, but the audio file cannot be extracted from the Sway for editing. If you want to embed interactive elements like forms, documents, audio clips, Google Maps, and more from sources like Microsoft Forms, SharePoint, and SoundCloud, as well as Sway itself, you just need to get an embedded link and enter it into the box. The group type card is used for nesting media and designates how the media will appear. There are five types of groups. Using emphasis, you can semi-control alignment by adjusting emphasis of the media from subtle, small, moderate, medium, to intense, which is full screen. Using focus point with 
image media only, you can also adjust the crop by setting focus points. If you do not want to, the image to crop, check mark the box, the entire image is important. The grid grouping is good for displaying image typologies, but it does require an even number to fill out the grid. Similar to automatic, you have the option for emphasis and focus point. In grid grouping, sizing emphasis is applied to the entire group. Grid grouping focus point auto crops your images to display them as a uniform matrix. You can override default grid settings by adjusting focus points for individual images. The next grouping type is comparison. Only two images may be used for comparison grouping, and a slider appears along the center axis of the image frame, allowing you to hide and reveal either image. In comparison grouping, sizing emphasis applies to the entire group, while focus points may be set individually. In stack grouping, you can include any number of images and they will maintain their original aspect ratio. They appear in a pile that you may flip through by clicking on the stack. Sizing emphasis applies to the entire group, while focus points may be set individually. And finally, you have the option to use slideshow grouping. You can include any number of images in Slideshow, which will appear in a horizontal slide format that you can advance by clicking the right and left arrows. Sizing emphasis applies to the entire group, while focus points may be set individually. And finally, the most important part, sharing your sway. Share your sway with a link that others can view or edit, or get an embedded link. You can share with specific groups or people this allows you to send an email inviting specific people to view and or edit your Sway site. Only those with a link will be able to access it. You can also share it with people in your organization, so only people who have wisc.edu emails will be able to view your Sway site. Or you can make the link available to anyone which is open to the public. If you're working in groups, whoever creates the Sway site is the owner, but others can edit it by selecting the edit option next to invite people to. Finally, I would like to direct you to our website where you can find more resources under software support, Sway, and then Design Lab Sway on Sway, which is a Sway project that we have created in order to provide you with easy instructions. Don't forget, Design Lab is here to help you with your project. Due to the pandemic, we have suspended all in-person appointments, but we are still offering appointments via video calls. You can make an appointment from the Design Lab website by clicking the pink Make an Appointment button. You can also start a chat with us using our new chat service, which is open anytime Design Lab is open. From anywhere on the Design Lab website, click Chat with Design Lab in the main menu. We look forward to working with you.